my channel if you're new here my name is Nassine I'm 37 I do keto hauls vlogs meal preps reviews all the things keto so stick around if that's something that you're looking for every day I do what I eat in a day I have four beautiful kids that also mostly eat keto a floofy fluffy husky two kitty kitties and I love the clicky clickies you give this video a big thumbs up you become one of the click um, today is thursday feels like monday it's my first day back to work i got up early i set schedules like i made my coffee i had the collagen in the cups i was on track got to work early everything going great it's a good day it really is um except for when i got to work i forgot i didn't put on deodorant so that's a thing uh, i also forgot my glasses in the lab so i am without glasses right now so i look a little bit weird but because i had to run and go get deodorant just now i got this soothing chamomile from dove this smells good and i'm excited to have that so it was meant to be but i also grabbed myself a diet dr pepper and some of these old Wisconsin um, beef snack bites, which is weird. It doesn't, I can probably scan it. It doesn't have the carb count or anything like that. So I'm not gonna eat this whole thing, but I wanted something. But I also brought root beer keto chow. I didn't get it, shook it up. Um, if you are new to keto and you've not tried keto chow, I will link above my video where I did keto chow for an entire week and you can kind of learn a little bit more about it. All right, my boss called me, he's dropping off some cans. Anyways, keto chow, got some keto chow. I will link my video above, it's root beer. It is made with a fourth cup of pecan oil. I did um, three ounces of almond milk, unsweetened vanilla, and then the rest water, and this is root beer flavored. I like putting almond milk in my keto chow because it thickens it up and I really like I just like the consistency, I like the flavor, I like everything about it. And it's very good. It's just cold enough where I don't have to bring this in the building even. I can just leave it in my car. It's 30 degrees outside, it stays nice and cold. And then I looked up the nutritional information and this is for six pieces, there's one serving size. So I've ate three, I'm gonna have three more. And um, I had a zip fizz today as well. And in my coffees this morning, I had two scoops of the Keto. Uh, preferred elements chocolate collagen and a little bit of unsweetened vanilla almond milk as well so and a splash of the glazed donut skinny syrup so i also weighed in this morning at 228.4 so i am down from yesterday um i think i think i will continue to weigh every day just because I think it is something that I need to do for myself to help me keep on track. And then my friend Sonny brought up a good point. Um, I'm sick. I've been I've been sick the last couple of days. That can really fluctuate your body weight without you even realizing it. The fluids, you know, all that. So that's something to keep in mind as well. You'll hold on to fluids when you're sick and you could be doing everything right and your body weight can be going up. Again, that's why it can be tricky for some people to weigh every day. But for other people, it can be beneficial because they just like to know what their body's doing. All right, guys, here's dinner. I have six celery sticks. Yes, six, because I really wanted celery and I was craving it. I have six wings. These are the game day wings from Meyer, And then I have a serving of Fat Kid Broccoli and um one serving of ranch i'm gonna drink some water or a boat boost or something with this and i will record a little bit later all right guys why are we not focused hey hi hey there hi there hold there what Candle. <laughs> mom said ho no my roommate he's doing really well i think he's getting a touch of the keto flu so uh, hooking him up with some soleil water and he did start his channel. He uploaded his very first video. I shared it on my community page. I'll try to remember to either link it up in the cards or down below in the description box. And you guys can go check him out if you want. Um, I am going to, I'm sorry I keep clearing my throat. I'm still getting over a little bit of a sickness. I am going to do like an interview type thing with him. Have him ask me keto questions or just share some of the questions that he's had when 
in in his first month of keto he's been keto now for one month and um you know he's had questions and he still has some questions and it's just things that after i've been on keto for this long there are things that i don't usually think about anymore and with more people joining keto right now at the start of the new year these questions are going to be coming up more often or not and since they're fresh in his mind, he might be able to bring them up for me. I don't know if it's gonna be a thing like he's interviewing me type thing or he's gonna be in the video with me. I don't know how it's gonna be, but either way, I'm planning to do that. I'm going to record that this weekend, so that'll probably go up sometime this weekend, maybe Monday, not sure. Um, I do work Saturday and tomorrow, Friday, is Tiffany's uh, doctor's appointment with a specialist in Ann Arbor, so we will be going to Mott's Children's Hospital. My macros were good today. I did go over on my fat by I think 10 grams and so then you know then in turn my calories were over a little bit but it wasn't by a lot and so I'm pretty pleased with that I had pretty good clean meals nothing that were um questionable or had you know hidden ingredients or anything like that I'm really enjoying this recording and not worrying about editing it until tomorrow and then just edit two videos into one. It's so much easier. I was able to like relax and eat dinner and watch a little bit of TV and play with the kids. And well, Tiffany, I don't think the boys talked to me yet today. But anyways, I'm gonna go get some water, relax for the rest of the night and enjoy my night. And I will see you guys tomorrow. The next day. Hey guys, today is Friday. Um, I will be editing this video tonight and putting it up. I do work tomorrow, like I said earlier in yesterday's vlog. I've not eaten yet, it's only 10.55. Now I usually have lunch at 11.30 at when I'm working. I just left work at 10, so I just got home. Tiffany has her doctor's appointment in Ann Arbor, so I'm about to head inside. I need to pee so badly and um, Josh has the keto flu I told him that he was gonna get it if he didn't supplement his electrolytes and he uh, just was drinking Powerade which that's not enough you need Powerade is not going to cut it so I gave him a little bit of my sole water and I told him how to make it hopefully he'll make some yeah he's got the keto flu it's about he's about um, three almost four month four weeks in uh, so it's hitting him and it's hitting him pretty hard he's tired he doesn't feel good and he's got the tools and I'm there to advise we are gonna plan to do that sit down like somebody actually recommended have him record me and ask me the questions if he didn't want to be in the video and I thought that was a good idea I don't know what he wants um, but I asked him if he'd be interested in doing that and he said yeah so I think it's a really good idea for a video just for all the new people to keto so they can kind of have some of their questions answered I'll also like put up a community post and maybe something on Instagram as well where you can ask if you are starting keto and you just have like a keto question and we can include it in that video too. I still also need to film my Q&A that I asked you guys to ask questions and you did and then I just never got around to doing it. So maybe I'll get that done this weekend as well. So I'm about to go inside, clean up a little bit and get Tiffany ready and then we have to leave around noon. While it's fresh in my mind, I just got a call from my daughter's doctor and they had her echo results. So apparently she has mitral valve regurgitation. So what that is, is the valve to your heart, um, when it opens and then it closes, it's not closing tight enough. And so some of the blood falls back into the heart and it doesn't go into the correct, um, area of the heart so it doesn't get put back out into the system efficiently and so um she has a mild case of it which normally they don't they'll leave it be unless you have it, it gets worse but they asked if she was frequently tired had leg swelling like butterfly type feelings or um shortness of breath um, she does get out of breath very easily and she's always tired. So I told them that and they said, okay, would you like us to refer you to this uh, cardiologist? It sounds like that might be a good idea. So yes. So um, 
We are today, of course, I just told you we're going to see the endocrinologist for her skin and circulation issues. Is that in turn related? I don't know, it could be, we're not sure. So, just an update. All right, so we're getting ready to leave and uh, I had one serving of the beef Wisconsin, old Wisconsin sticks that I showed you yesterday. And then I'm bringing this along with me, this Quest Bar. Um, cause I don't know when I'm going to eat. I could have brought my keto chow with me, but, um, I just, I don't know. I just grabbed this quest bar. So we're off. All right. We just arrived in the parking garage. Thankfully Josh came with me because I am no good in stressful situations. And there is about 10 parking garages in this area. We do have to pay for parking. I don't know how long it's going to be or what. So I get stressed out, but we finally, we got... I think we're on like level two and a half, two, I don't know. Either way, we're about to leave the car and we have a lot of walking to do. If you've ever been to the University of Michigan, um, it's huge. Focus. Hey, we're waiting for an elevator. All right, guys, sorry it's a little dark. It is now 4.36. We got here at like 1.30. You can turn the light off, that, it, we don't need it. We got here at like 1.30. I'm exhausted. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, this specialist realized that there was actually something missing, that they didn't do a certain panel of the thyroid. So they took some blood just now and they're gonna run that. The reason why they keep going back to thyroids, like my mom has thyroid issues, my grandmother has thyroid issues, I don't know. So again, this, this specialist doesn't think Tiffany has any issues with her thyroid and has now referred Tiffany to the allergen specialist and the rheumatoidist, what do you call that? Rheumatoidology, I don't know. They deal with not just arthritis, but rashes and anemia and all that. So not only do we need to see the cardiologist about the valve, now we need to see. It's so many things, so many things. But I'm starving, it's 4.39 and all I've had are some beef bites and a Quest Bar. I've had bacon. And that girl's hungry. I've had bacon and a Quest Bar. That's all I've had. Josh is you can't a, even see me because of the light. Josh is a halo. All right, we are going to. Because I'm an angel. We are going to. Are we finding some place to eat? Yes. We are finding some place to eat. I will show you. Uh, what? Whatever. I don't know. We'll show you. 